What's up everybody? This is Scott with 512garage.com and I'm back with another video vlog. In today's video, we're going to be answering probably one of the biggest questions I get all the time, either in the comments of these videos or uh, by email. And you guys really want to know what the difference is between the AWE track system and the AWE touring system. Well, today you're in luck because we have my C7 Grand Sport with the touring system on it, and behind me is Brad in his C7 Grand Sport Carbon 65 Edition that has the track edition. If you guys don't know, I actually have a website, 512garage.com, where we sell aftermarket parts and accessories for modern Corvettes, C5 through C8. So there's a link down in the description. I'd love it if you guys uh, took a minute or five or 10 and checked out the website. And if you're interested in anything, go ahead and buy it. We ship really, really fast. And right now, all orders over 99 bucks ship to you for free. But like I said, today's video is all about comparing these two systems. Now, I've had both systems on my C7 here. I've had the Touring first, then I went over and got the Track conversion kit uh, from AWE and then uh, ran that for a couple months and then swapped back over to the Touring Edition. And why did I do that? Well, for a couple different reasons. I think the first reason is I just really like the sound of the Touring Edition with those resonators from AWE. They, um, they have a nice tuned sound to them, great quality sound, makes the, uh, makes the C7 sound a little, little on the exotic side, which is pretty cool. The tone, number one, is why I like the Touring better than the track. And number two, there's no drone. Well, there is when I'm going uphill like that. <laughs> but typically there's no drone uh, in these uh, resonators when you're uh, just cruising on the highway or uh, just cruising around town. It's not too bad at all. I'm someone who's sensitive to, uh, to drone. My wife can't stand it. And so that is the other reason. Now the track system sounds awesome, but I'm just gonna tell you guys, it really is just straight pipes and uh, with, with a set of tips that replaces your factory uh, axle back system. Anyway, we are going to head over to a business park here where we can sort of rev the cars and uh, give you guys a comparison of both systems. So hang in there. We'll be, uh, be right back with you. All right guys, so here we are at the business park. We have both Corvettes, both C7s with that AWE system. The first thing I wanna show you guys is, well, is there a difference in the way that they idle, right? So we'll listen to Brad's Carbon 65 first. Now remember, that's got the track edition with the AWE X pipe, which is getting increasingly difficult to get a hold of. And of course, my car has the touring edition with the X pipe. So let's hear how they sound when they're just idling. I don't know if you guys can hear the difference uh, on uh, the camera with this mic. Uh, it's really, really close. Um, maybe a little bit more of sort of a low, uh, lopy type of a sound. And that's sort of more of a, like I said, more of a tune sound. Now why the cars are positioned like this, we might as well get some revs out of it. So we're gonna get some revs out of Brad's carbon 65 first and then we'll do some revs on my car and we'll see if you guys can hear a difference so let's uh let's get let's get Brad to, to rev it up pretty beasty that's that like low uh you know sort of straight pipe sound sounds pretty good to be honest with you guys uh one other thing both cars do have the diamond black tips on them and i get questions about that too this is what the diamond black tips look like you know they do they do have a little bit of like a sheen to them 
this is what they look like when they're dirty. All right, let's uh, let's rev up my Grand Sport and see what happens. <laughs> the touring than on the essentially straight pipe track edition. <laughs> down in the comments which one do you think sounds better I don't know that's a tough call all right let's see if we can get like some short little flybys here and uh, give you a better uh, sense of the sound as the car is moving and maybe we'll do like uh, some launches so stay tuned <laughs> I mean, they spun a little bit. That's that's really difficult. <laughs> difficult. Hopefully, you get a decent idea of what that sounds like. Now we're gonna like we're gonna do it again, and maybe we'll get like a flyby. So I'm going to. Okay. Let's let's get another flyby for you. You know, he's having fun. <laughs> I want that job. Now it's time to get his car out here and show you guys what the track system sounds like. So I know you guys really would rather hear like full throttle, like a full throttle pull, uh, but we got to get back to the garage because, well, unfortunately that system is coming off his car. We wanted to rush out and make this video real quick for you guys. Like I said, it is a big topic of conversation, a huge topic of emails that I receive weekly, uh, comments, that sort of thing. So. I don't know if you got a really good uh, understanding. This microphone isn't the greatest that I have on top of the camera. I think it does a pretty decent job. I will tell you that the track edition definitely is sort of like lower, uh, deeper, has that, um, you know, that straight pipe sound to it, where the touring system just sounds uh, a bit more uh, refined, more exotic. It crackles, I think, a little bit more, and it doesn't drone. So. That's sort of the difference that I usually answer emails with when people ask me the differences between the two and which one they should go with. Um, both are great options. And in fact, uh, AWE has a conversion kit that we do sell. It'll allow you to swap over sort of that middle section of pipe. So if you ever get the track system and you wanna try the touring, you can order basically just the resonators and pull that middle section of pipe out and vice versa. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful if this is your first time to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode smash that like button and as always guys leave me some comments because you know i love interacting with people who love cars and corvettes just as much as i do don't forget to check out 512garage.com
Till next time, see ya.